In this Python tutorial, we will make a calculator using the combo element. After numbers are entered into the input objects, we choose what action we will perform with the combo element. When we click on the button, the result is shown in the text object. We will remake the project together. I will show you how I did it step by step. To support us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I transfer the PY simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I am creating a list for layout. For the first number, I add text and input objects to the window. I create a variable for the window. I send the window title, layout list and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create event and values variables to detect movements in the window. I can see these movements with the read function. I will print the variables on the console screen using the print command. I want the window to close when the X button is pressed. If the event value is win underscore closed or exit, I end the loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window containing text and input objects. For the second issue, I add text and input objects to the layout list. I will make a few adjustments to the input object. I add a button to the window and a text object for the result. The button and text object have been added to the window. Now I will create the combo element. I'm creating a list to determine the members of the combo element. There will be addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division options in the combo element. I send list, font, size, events, and read-only values to the combo function. I add the combo element to the layout list. Combo element added to window. Pay attention to the event and values written on the console screen. I will define keys to access objects. For example, the first input object represents the first number. I can do this using the key keyword. I specify key values for combo, input and text objects.
Pay attention to the event and values written on the console screen. The keys I specified have been added. I create a variable named result that I will use for mathematical operations. If the event value is calculate, the button has been pressed. The combo element indicates which mathematical operation I will perform. I can access the value of the combo element with the key I define. If it is addition, I will first access the values. I will do a summation. You need to set the values as integers. Because values cannot be collected because they are strings. I will display the result of the addition operation in the result text object. I will access the object using key and send the result variable to the update function. I enter two numbers. I choose the addition option. When I press the button, the addition is performed and the text object is updated. Now let's add if queries for other mathematical operations. I'm copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. The values in the combo object must be exactly the same. Pay attention to lowercase and uppercase letters. I'm trying the application now. I enter two numbers. I select the addition option and click the button. The result is displayed in the text object. All mathematical operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division work as I want. In the next video, we will make an example of the checkbox element. To support us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video.